No, I'm starting recording before I even put the camera on because you always catch something before I start recording. See, told you. <laughs> Is that, yeah, it's a keeper size. It's a decent one. Yeah. Big male. There you go. First white bass in the trip. It's always on like the first cast trick. No, it was like, it was like third. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. oh he slipped oh. off. But I had one. It counts, it counts. No. No. no, a little bite. Tug. No, just let him take it, dude. Just slowly, go slower and slower. So eventually you <laughs> Oops. <laughs> He came back for it, and I let him, I was doing what you said, so I thought I'd set the hook. There we go. Stay on, fool. There we go. Keep her. On the board, finally. Yeah. And you only had one this time, by the time I got this one. There we go. I got the lead, Greg. Good, though, this is already my third one, technically. Third bite. <laughs> Finally, somebody else is catching besides me for once. Oh, see that? <laughs> spooked something over here. Oh, fuck. What was that? I think he spooked a carp over here, unless it was another white bass. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I think this one. No, I was gonna say I think it's undersized, but it's good. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Did you see my new t-shirt line? <laughs> I, I gotta plug the t-shirt line while in the video, you know, because it'll be the first video since I released them. But you know John B, right? Yeah. yeah he's got his t-shirts that say rigged. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come up with a t-shirt of my own with one word on it that described my style of fishing. So instead of rigged, it says snagged. Yeah, I already sold a couple before I was even finished setting up the store. <laughs> there we go. Rooster tail. Yeah. And this one was right out in front of us. This is right off the edge of the boat. Huh? There we go. It's not the Greg show today, is it? Yeah, yeah we got a good good amount so far. Yeah. We got about six. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what we got them all on. Little inline spinners, rooster tails. Yeah, rooster tails and marabou's. That should work. Yeah. Yeah. Anything small with a reflection. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I can cast out to those timbers. <laughs> it's a 14 gram blade. Oh, is that a fish? Got one. Yeah, that's a fish. Doesn't feel like a very big one. He's not fighting like one. Didn't fight at all. That's why I didn't know if it was a fish. But hey, the blade works. Am I even recording? <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't even, I've lost count already. How many we got? See? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Rooster tail? Yep. <laughs> I think I had it because it, uh, it came towards me actually. Yeah. That would be where the bass are. There we go. Get home. Oh, yeah. Swing some words or so. Mm. <laughs> this one. Oh. <laughs> I was, was going to let him go anyway. I think he was undersized. He didn't look undersized. He liked No, I was just about to say that. He looks kind of small. But. He would have. He was probably maybe. Maybe 11 inches. Questionable. Questionable. Right. Yeah. It's so basically how it works out here is if it's questionable, just throw it back. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Had one. I need to keep reminding myself not to set the hook on these. Because <laughs> that one was going right for your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've met LeVar Burton. It's fucking cool. I went to one of his lectures. I get that, I get that too. Yeah. Cool like we met him, he was doing a lecture at St. Phillips and we went and met him before. Mm -hmm. And like he was so cool that we stayed and listened to the lecture. <laughs> we weren't even students. But then all the dumbasses on Twitter keep confusing him for LeVar Ball. So like they they were tweeting at LeVar Burton talking about how stupid his son is for getting arrested for shoplifting in in China and it's like wrong guy dude. Oh, there you go. You got one? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah, good one. Should I net it? <laughs> 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 Look at me catching white bass and smoking cigars. Need to catch a gar. That way we can get gars and gars. I mean, it's a good thing you're keeping that one. Yeah, but leading. like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put light cigars and white bass. You want to take that picture for you? Yeah. The even better one? It's good. <laughs> I'm fucking pulling. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest one so far. That one slammed it too. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. I'm good. Take the hook out. And he did you a favor. You should let him go for that. <laughs> what was that? You want to go into the ice chest? That's all fucked up, right? It's like, I tried, buddy. <laughs> I tell you about my court case. I felt like one of the guys from Law and Order. Okay, I showed up in the suit and tie and everything. And uh, the girl, they were suing me for $1,400 for four months rent, four months that I hadn't even lived there. And like I told the judge, like, look, I told them, they called me on the phone on November 13th. I told them I was moving out. 
Uh, they called me again. I told them again I was moving out. They came and knocked on my door. Two guys. I told them both I was moving out. They introduced themselves as a, the land managers or the property managers. I told them both face to face I was moving out. And the girl was like, well, he never put anything in writing. He didn't give us a written uh, uh, a, a written notice that he was moving out. I was like, nobody ever told me I had to. And then the judge is like, well, did you have any kind of signed contract or lease? With him? No. With them? No. I told him. Like, she said, yes, we do. Like, real quick. I was like, no, I never signed anything with them. And she pulled out my old lease, my original lease. And the, the bailiff, like, handed it to me to look at it because I said I didn't sign anything. And I look at it. I was like, man, this is my six-month lease that expired in 2010. And the judge is like, let me see that. And he looks at it. He's like, yeah, this expired in 2010. And she's like, well, yeah, but it says right there that he has to give us written notice 30 days ahead of time. And I was like, yeah, that's yeah, not even the same. Not, it's not even the same company. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't say the company name on it. Yeah, I was like, that's for a different company. I never had any kind of agreement with you people. And the judge is like, do you have anything else on him? And she's like, no. He's like, well, dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> They were hoping I wouldn't show up because they didn't have anything on any of the tenants. They were suing like five out of the eight people that live there. And I'm the only one that showed up. All the other ones were automatically defaulted in the, the day one. So. Oh, yeah. Trying to get $1,400 for no reason. Like they knew I was gone. She's trying to say that they never got any kind of message or anything. I was like, I got a text message. Yeah, on my phone right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it probably worked out because they won the four other cases. I kind of wish those other people had shown up because I went first. I would have been first. And, like, my case won. The other ones would have been automatically in their favor yeah. if they'd showed up. Just because they didn't have any kind of agreement with anybody. But everybody was scared and didn't show up. That lady was mad. Hmm? My last two I've caught in. It's funny how fishermen invented a new word. Did you notice that? Cotton? Cotton's not a word, but every fisherman says it. <laughs> there you go. Damn, Greg. Dude, what is that? There you go. Dude, holy crap. Am I recording this? Dude, you gotta get a weight on that. You wanted to get a crappie too. Look at that. Damn. Let me get this picture. And there's a bee on it. That Dude, that thing, it might not be very long, but that is a fat. Let me get my camera open. Try to zoom in on you. <laughs> Damn, monster crappie, dude. That's that, a monster crappie. I thought it was a carp or something. It looks like a largemouth. Well, while well, you're doing that, I'm gonna cast out over that way. <laughs> That's gotta be a pound and a half. A pound point thirty-four. Damn, almost. God. That's my biggest crappie ever. It's bigger than any of the white bass we got. About 14? Big That's mount worthy. That is mount worthy. <laughs> Got a trophy. Ah, oh, there we go. I hope so. What do I got? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Finally. Uh, rooster tails. Uh, white. White and, white and chrome. <laughs> yellow. Uh, yellow should work. Yeah, yellow should be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. A couple of them I've had seen. That last one I caught, the fins on the bottom were 
were uh, kind of messed up. Like he'd been swiping down and clearing out the the dirt. <laughs> That's that couple that was out here last year. <laughs> How you doing? She's the one that she didn't want to wait for him when he was parking, so she went and was fishing the <laughs> there by us. She pulled the boat out and was fishing in the, at the dock. It's not a white bass. You got a large mouth. <laughs> there you go. You wanted you. You got both of the fish you wanted to go after out here. That's it. Hmm. We've got multi species here. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Is that a fish? Yeah. I've been throwing over there this whole time, and then. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You, you got me too. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Snapped. Yeah. Oh. Already? Whoa. That's another largemouth. <laughs> <laughs> that hit hard too. Yeah, I saw that. Greg, we're white bass fishing. I know, but you know, these uh, black bass keep biting. <laughs> <laughs> That's two large mouths, a crappie. <laughs> I'd rather get snagged on this stuff than already. There we go, pick a good spot. What is that? Where's that net at? You need a net? Is that on the ultralight? Yeah. Is that another largemouth? No, it's hard though. <clears throat> oh, this is a nice one. What the hell, Greg? That green, dude. What's the green? <laughs> Oh, with a dark mouth? Yeah, look at that. Two pounder. Easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adam's gonna be so mad. <laughs> On back to back casts too. Is that another one, really? Should I get the net? <laughs> that was a nice white. It's white one? Yeah. <laughs> Light ass line. You got it? Alright. <laughs> He's hooked. Yeah. I'm going to go on for the action. Oh, <laughs> I had one. Just right out there, there's like a little stump sticking up right there, just below the surface. It's in the grab that was running that way. It didn't take the hook, probably a sunfish, but. It's the one I just lost. <laughs> Greg. 